tell the story of same thing, same thing that just happened. I'll give you a good and a bad because they both hit yesterday. And um, so I'll give you the bad one first. So the bad one I took a chance on a person who um, honestly, I still think this guy is a good guy. I like this guy. Uh, he was a, I met him wor uh, working out. So he was a, he trained with my trainer. He was like a workout partner. Basically he came over to our house and worked out with us one day randomly. Um, nice guy, young guy. And he was like an apprentice plumber at the time. So he's a plumber in training and with, um, and like we had a issue with our three PL for our e-commerce business, which was like, we had a theft issue at our, at the warehouse that we were working with. And then the owner was kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't, you can't prove that we stole it. I'm like, dude, you have the goods and now they're gone. Like who else, who else stole it except for someone at the warehouse? He's like, ah, oh, let's check the cameras. Oh, don't keep the footage. Sorry. And so I just got so pissed. I was like, we're leaving like fucking tomorrow. And so I was like, all right, we're, we're not using this 3PL anymore. We're going to just do our own warehousing. I didn't know the first thing about warehousing, but I was like, okay, whatever. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So we, I, I hastily sign a lease of this like 8,000 square foot warehouse near us. And I was like, all right, I definitely don't want to run this warehouse, but it's like the stuff is coming tomorrow. So we need to uh, find somebody. So I, I'm working out that day and I'm like, hey, you want to <laughs> you want to run a warehouse? He's like, what? And I was like, you know, you're kind of like a hardworking blue collar guy. Like, you want to try this? He's like, well, I've never really done anything like this. I was like, don't worry. Like, I'll take a shot on you. And like, you're going to make a bunch of mistakes. That's OK. I understand because you've never done this before. I've also never done it before. Let's figure it out together. And like, you know, you'll learn from this and who knows, like this might lead to a future you want. We had talked about what he might want in the future. Like he wanted to one day own real estate, own his own business. And I go, you know, this could become that. Like if we open up a second warehouse, like we'll buy that one. And, you know, you could be a part owner in it. You could run a basically our, our own in-house 3PL. Like you could fulfill not just our brand, but other brands too. So I had kind of laid out this vision. He was super excited about it. And in my head, I'm already, I do this thing all the time, Sam, you'll appreciate this. I always imagine the hustle con talk. This is like a phrase I use all the time. I go, all right, imagine two years from now, you're on stage talking about how we growth hacked our way to success. What are the stories we're going to tell? Or like how we survived chaos and like absolute, like, you know, disasters, but still made it. So I always work backwards from like, I imagine telling the story on stage and it just gets me more excited about the current moment. And like, so I was already imagining like this plumber, this like apprentice plumber that we hired that now is this amazing guy. And I'm like, imagining all these great things. And it started off good. It was going good. But then like, you know, here we are and, you know, a year later or nine months later, something like that. And, you know, all of a sudden balls being dropped on a couple things and not really growing at the rate we want to grow uh, in terms of his growth as a leader of that part of the business. But I'm still holding out hope. And then I find out he's kind of like scamming us, like trying to like start his own thing. He like sees us growing and like trying to start his own version of it. And like, you know what, like it's OK to be want to be an entrepreneur and start your own thing. But like if you do it above board, I'm cool with it. If you're kind of a on company time, company dime, like trying to steal our idea. Like that's not cool to me. So, so anyways, I had this, like kind of that all came to a head yesterday and I was like, look, this is not working. I guess, you know, like my bet was wrong here. This, like my hope that we could help this plumber guy become like this, like star, like throw that hustle con talk away. That's not happening. And I'm feeling kind of bad. And then the afternoon I get a call from this guy, Johnny and Johnny's a kid who I hired at, I think age 13 or 14. He called me one day at the office and he goes, Hey, is this Sean? And I was like, yeah. How'd you get this number? Who is this? He goes, my name's Johnny. I met Pete who works at your office at the, at the dog park. I go, okay. And he is everything okay with Pete. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that, you know, I'm in eighth grade and I'm a programmer and he goes, and I don't know any other programmers. And I'm, it's summer. It's about to be summer. And like, I just want to hang out around other programmers. I've never met one. Can I come hang out at your office this summer? And I was like, like, how can That's I say an no obvious that? winner. So I'm like, That's I'm, an like obvious winner. I'm like, okay, this cold call is a yes. So he shows up and like the idea was he'll just like, he's just going to be over there in the corner. He just wanted to like shadow the environment or like whatever. First day I was like, uh, we're in a meeting. I was like, oh, you know what we should do? We should do this like viral little quiz. We don't have enough people to do it. I was like, hey, Johnny, get in here. Johnny, can you build a website? He's like, uh, yeah. Like he didn't know how to, but he's just like, yeah, I think I could. And I was like, all right, build this today. And he like literally stayed there till midnight that day and like had a version of it working by that night. Probably was under like such an immense amount of pressure now that I look back at it. Probably poor guy, like, you know, aged the guy probably five years. So anyways, he he just joins us full time as an eighth grader. By 10th grade, it's like Johnny needs to be here full time. Johnny's the man. Johnny's the fucking man. He's like hanging out with a bunch of like 
old neck beards like us. And, uh, and, it, and he's like, you know, I want to drop out of high school and I just want to do this. And his mom is so worried about him dropping out. And I like go and I meet with his mom and I'm like, ma'am, he's not dropping out. He's going pro. It's like when LeBron James, <laughs> he skipped college cause he was going pro. He was just that advanced. And like, she was like, okay, if you put it that way, that sounds good. Like, I don't feel bad about my kid anymore. You know, like, okay, if you say so. And so, and then he became the, when we got acquired, he became the youngest Amazon employee, I think uh, in the, in all of Amazon at that, during the acquisition. And now he's like starting his own, he's now he's, I don't know, 19 or something like that. And he's What's this kid's name. Give him get, jo- can Johnny Dallas, name? Johnny Dallas. I don't know. I'll pull up his Twitter. Awesome. Um, so he has his own startup now. And it's like, he just called me yesterday. He's like, yeah, um, it's going pretty good. Like we just got a term sheet from, you know, uh, I guess I probably shouldn't say the firm, but it's like the best VC firm. So he's like, the best VC firm just gave us a term sheet, you know, $38 million post valuation. I was like, Johnny, you know, have you had puberty yet? What's going on, dude? Like, this is crazy to me. But that was, and I told him, I go, dude, he goes, thanks for just making the time. I go, bro, you don't understand. This is the best feeling I can get. It's like, I feel like I bet on you. You were my personal angel investment. And like, we became friends and then you're actually doing the thing. You like actually did the thing that I always hope somebody does, which is like, take the opportunity and just fucking run with it and become a superstar. And like when it happens, it's so worth it. And you're like, all right, I'll do this 10 more times. Even if I whiff nine more times, if there's another Johnny in there, like this is, this is,